I lost my memory that day, along with my family. When I woke up in the hospital, the doctor told me that we'd been involved in an accident. My father and sister died, trapped in a blaze of burning crimson. If I try and remember anything else, it's terrifying.
have you been? <sighs> There's work to do, Master. You've got a customer waiting. Yeah? A customer? Really? <laughs> Welcome to Garland's Detective Agency. I'm the boss, Johnny Garland. Yes, how do you do? My name is Gilbert, and I'm a teaching professor from a well-known university in Boston. Sit down. I was told by a reliable source that this is the place to come if you happen to be looking to find someone. You're looking for someone? Yes, this man. I've heard rumors that someone who looks very much like him has been seen around Manhattan recently. Marlowe Brown. He's a man facing charges on at least eight counts of attempted murder, disorderly conduct, etc., etc. He was released on parole three days ago, and right off the bat, escaped without paying any bail money. My god, he sounds like trouble. I don't get it. What do you want a guy like that for anyway, huh? <laughs> Let's just say, we have a business relationship. He got out on bail, as you know, but I am his bond guarantor. You see, if I don't find him, and fast, I'm going to be stuck with coming up with every cent of his bail money. Mm. I got it. I'll help you. You'll see. He's as good as in your hands. <laughs> Are you sure? Accepting such a dangerous case like that? What are you talking about? We just got our first real case, you know. Until now, all of our jobs have been things like sweeping factory chimneys and searching for runaway cats. Nothing interesting at all. Master, think about it. Don't you think it's time to quit this? It's already been a year. Since you left the house and opened the agency. How's your father's business gonna succeed without you to run it? Not that again. I told you I don't want to work there anymore. If you miss it so much, why don't you go back by yourself? What are you saying? On that day, I swore I would serve you for the rest of my life. You and I are one heart, one body. I can't imagine working anywhere without you, my master. Okay, whatever. Anyway, for starters, I'm gonna ask some questions. Take care of things while I'm gone. Hey, wait a minute! At least let me... come with you. I sure hope young master's going to be alright out there on his own. I'm Johnny Garland, and I'm 16. I'm a private detective living in New York City. And like Lenny was saying, the truth is my father died three years ago, and I was supposed to take over running his company. But living on an inheritance doesn't really do it for me. So I opened my own office. There are other reasons why I'm a detective. That accident didn't just take my family. It also took part of my memories. There is something important I had to remember, something significant. Something that really means something to me. I thought that if I started working as a detective, it might help me someday to remember. I haven't told this to anybody. Not a soul. Even Lenny. Excuse me? I mean, how are you? Uh, I run a detective agency around here. Johnny Garland is what they call me. Johnny Garland? <laughs> Give 
me a break. <laughs> huh? My God, you're Johnny. Wait, stop right there. Don't come any closer. What are you acting all scared about? Yeah. It's not like I'm going to report you or anything. <laughs> what, what's going on?
feel the brimming. Huh? Morning. How'd you sleep? Hey, wait. How did I get back here? Well, let me see. I remember suddenly being attacked. Uh, attacked by some weird... Uh, some sort of monster. Uh, but after that, I... I... Master. I know exactly what happened. The truth is, these two kind souls saved your life. They were kind enough to bring you back here while you were still unconscious. Huh? I, I was just being a little careless, I think. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, what were you doing there yesterday? You're connected to that beast in some way, right? Let's see. Uh, uh, that's it! You changed your shape, didn't you? Calm down. You're asking way too many questions. Besides, don't forget that you were there too for some reason. I happen to be a detective, you know. Hmm... Listen, have you heard of Malice before? Malice? Yeah, Malice. A red light made of humanity's hate and anger. It was more than ten years ago. Somebody broke the seal and unleashed 1,000 years of pent-up Malice on our world. The Malice it spread like wildfire all over the planet, plunging humans everywhere into complete madness. Sometimes, the malice opens a window allowing beasts to come in. A window? Didn't you see the window? It looked like a giant sea green whirlwind. That's why we call that a window. Our work is to hunt down those evil beasts. The ones who come through. The power you saw yesterday? 
That's what I use for the hunt. So you're exterminating monsters, huh? Hmm. <laughs> ah! Master, please! Don't scream like that again! But what are we gonna do, Lenny? The guy Professor Gilbert asked us to find for him was eaten by a monster! Oh. Oh. I see what you mean. Well then... I guess we have no choice but to say we're sorry. Maybe. But eaten by a monster? He won't believe me. You know, if you like, we could go along with you. Yeah? We can explain things a lot better than you. Besides, you don't want any problems. What if little master faints again, huh? <clears throat> hey, I'm not a little kid. My name is Shania, and this is... I am Natan. It is my honor. Uh, hi. Hmm? Uh, the name's Johnny. How are you? 